Hey everyone, how's it going? It's that nerd Ryan here, and I'm not going to do the entire video like that. <laughs> ah, how is everyone today? Today is Monday, um, two days before we get She-Hulk. So I figured that we keep the tradition going of five um, last minute She-Hulk theories, and what's nice is I'm actually all layered out on it here. <laughs> Uh, so we have a theory tally so when we do the review at the end we could see how many I got right um, but yeah so with that ado let's uh, go ahead and get into it so my first theory is that we won't only be seeing Daredevil fighting She-Hulk we'll also be seeing Matt Murdock going against She-Hulk in court um, so she-Hulk is a criminal defense lawyer, and Matt Murdock is just kind of a lawyer for hire sort of thing. Um, so we could possibly be seeing him playing the plaintiff side to the defendant side of She-Hulk uh, in court, which would be great. Uh, next would be that we're going to see more Thunderbolts than Abomination. I mean, with her being a criminal defense lawyer, we're going to be seeing a lot of cameos of criminal characters, new and old. And though I don't think Marvel's going to fully take Thunderbolts as a suicide squad, we'll have like a team of solid team of people. I do feel like it would be fun to show off some other characters that are possibly Thunderbolts. Um, I know we're getting the Wrecking Crew too, which is going to be cool. I love the Wrecking Crew, but let's get some more beefy cameos in there, please, of other Thunderbolts. Like, maybe we could see Yolanda Belova in it or something. Or, heck, we probably will see Val in this. Um, we'll see other actors from Incredible Hulk is my third theory. I mean, we're getting um, Abomination back. Obviously, we can't get Thunderbolt Ross, but I was thinking hopefully uh, we'll see Liv, Liv Taylor's character or maybe finally um, the leader, since that was built up all the way back in the first Incredible Hulk movie and we haven't seen him yet. That would be great to see another character like that. Um, number four is that She-Hulk will have to defend someone that she ends up putting away as a superhero so what i mean by that is that <clears throat> maybe it's somebody in the wrecking crew she um fights them and gets them to where they go in jail and then they hire her as their defense lawyer uh which would make it very complicated obviously and then my last theory is by the end of this i feel like bruce is going to retire um, and be Professor Hulk, or maybe even later down the line, become Maestro or something like that, and just kind of, kind of stay away from being the Hulk. I guess is the best way to say it. Um, just because we're setting up She-Hulk and stuff like that, and maybe this will set up A Force as well. Who knows? But yeah, so these are the five last-minute theories. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell, and follow me on all my social media down below. It's that nerd Ryan telling you, have an amazing day.